Okay guys, Cha Chan here. In today's video, I'm drawing Yugi, or rather Yami Yugi, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, I only started watching Yu-Gi-Oh! a few days ago, but I'm already on episode 45. I am really enjoying the show, I've never seen it before. It used to air on CITV when I was little, but I never watched it. I used to be like, you know, they're not real monsters, so I'm not interested. It's not like Pokemon where the monsters are real, but they're Little me didn't actually know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, so they are real monsters, but also sometimes they're not, but sometimes they are, but sometimes most of the time they are not. It's confusing. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't think Little Me would have been able to follow this. But nowadays, I'm really enjoying it. I honestly love the stylization of this show so much. I love how they draw Yami Yugi's eyes and regular Yugi's eyes too. The first time I drew Yugi, I was a little bit intimidated by his hair, a little bit, quite a bit actually. <laughs> but honestly, now that I've learned how to draw it, it's pretty fun. If not a little bit tricky now and then, just from certain angles and stuff. Not that I've drawn any dramatic pieces yet, <laughs> just random headshots mostly so far. So for this piece, I wanted to do something quick, but I ended up spending two hours on this, which was a little bit longer than I intended, but that's okay, because I do like how it turned out. But for this piece, I wanted to do like a headshot, kind of dramatic looking Yugi. Like maybe he's in the middle of a duel and he's struggling a little bit. Who knows? I love how sharp everything is, like sharp and pointy it is in this anime. It's just aesthetic, it's good. <laughs> well, there's not much I can say about this piece. Uh, what can I say? Well, I didn't use reference for the sketch or line art, so just, just kind of winged it. I think I got everything right, I think, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he looks a little bit off. I think his ear just looks a bit off, but it's okay. It's not the worst. And like maybe his like sideburn isn't quite right but anyway I did use a reference for the color though I actually color picked directly from a screenshot of the anime because I just wanted to speed things up a bit <laughs> but I honestly really do like how this piece turned out it's pretty okay it's it's not brilliant but it's okay <laughs> Well, there isn't much else to say really. Work is progressing slowly. I've had a few sick days, which is why I'm so far through the anime Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Oh, by the way, I'm watching the English dub because I just can't find the subbed version. And I'm already 45 episodes in, so I'm just gonna stick with the subbed, I mean the dubbed version. <laughs> but the dub's not too bad. Anyway, so uh, work progressing slowly. I'm a little bit behind schedule on this pre-made fursuit that I'm working on. It should have been a little bit further along by now, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure I can get some work done on it. I'm hoping to have the head finished by next week, maybe. Hopefully we will see, but no guarantees there. But it won't be available until it's like, you know, finished and I've done all the videos I need to film for it and stuff. I've got two videos to film with that fursuit. One to show the quality of that fursuit, and then another one to show like commission information, like this is my current level of work and stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling about work <laughs> to you now. Okay, so I think that is everything I had to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Links to all my social medias are in the description. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts, it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one, and bye!